to drag only men in uh, as witnesses and not to bother ladies in financial matters particularly this is the one principle which has been laid down very clearly that as as far as possible try to get enroll men as witnesses now again another inference is to be drawn and kept in mind is that this verse applies only to such situation where it is in your power to get witnesses of your choice this verse does not apply to any situations which arise accidentally and where the choice of witnesses does not lie with any person a thief has come a robber has attacked somebody an accident has taken place and things like that all such situations which demand the witness of the occasion whoever he happens to be in all these situations this this verse is not operative it only speaks of such situation where you have a choice to pick your own witnesses of and it mentions of your choice then the holy quran says ladies should not be bothered only men should be dragged into this but if you must drag ladies into it then it is better to have two ladies instead of one not that they are liars or they are not to be trusted they are liable to forget things or confuse things in financial affairs so this is a book of nature and this is very true there are very few ladies who are not confused in the financial affairs in a, this is a, a, in the experience common experience that uh, of of trade in things there are few ladies who understand matters and most of the ladies would not be bothered with such details and i know also that those uh, farms which are run by ladies it is a, a, a torture for the workers to serve under the ladies because they remain always suspicious of what is happening they do not comprehend the financial matters and they go on suspecting that something must have been happened i have i have been done to them to rob them of their rights similarly in trades if you trust some if you are trusted interested with a lady and you give your account to her then you know what i mean most often than not there are of course exceptions it is a headache to keep a lady's account because they will not understand and they will go on suspecting and confusing things so i have after some long experience i have made it a rule not to keep ladies accounts not even my wife's <laughs> <laughs> so in, in, the holy quran is the book of nature it doesn't care what people talk about it it is a book of truth and allah knows truth allah knows human nature and the finer differences between the nature of man and the nature of women and the differences there are nobody can deny however loud one cries for the lib women's lib one has to admit that there are differences so these are the final shades of differences it's not a way of deprecation at all it's not a reflection upon their character so the holy quran does not say that both of them should bear witness together it only says that have two witnesses only one witness would appear it's not that uh, she is not trusted but if during the course of uh, testimony she falters and begins to confuse things the other lady would to be, would be to help her and say don't you think it was that and not this and it will be only a reminder for her and then she will say yes yes now i know so in that way they are untrustworthy that they are generally automatically without any mal intention confuse financial matters and get confused about them. if a western society claims any western society claims that today are educated ladies do not confuse these matters but islam is a religion for the entire world in most of the world even today 
there are nations lagging thousands of years behind. So it is not only a religion for Europe, it is a religion for the whole mankind. So because laws are made keeping in view the majority of the people who will be concerned with those laws. So still, even that, if that claim is accepted and that should be accepted with a pinch of salt, not um, as such, I wouldn't. But anyway, if they claim, let them make a claim about it. But Islam is not only made for Europe, it's made for the entire world and this is a situation for prevailing in the whole world. So it's not a bad treatment at all. It's keeping in view the finer shades of differences of human beings, different sexes, I mean, and uh, then given an, an order to help them. The whole tone of the verse is to help the ladies, so that one helps the other to, to, to be reminded in time, so that she is not guilty of uh, perjury. So it is a help, it's not a reflection at all. Any other question except for Mr. Muhammad Abdul who will be given his turn anyway when there is no one to come forward. In suicide you came very, you come very occasionally nowadays, you are busy with cooking things? Sir. Good. Sir. I hope you are not tired, it's four and a half months now that a group of four or five of you I have been constantly cooking food and serving and attending to it. Sir, How can sir. you perform both your duties at the airport and here? It's pleasure, sir. Your presence means all. Oh, no, it's a pleasure for those who eat your food. <laughs> 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 but it's the first. I'm not tired. Huh? I'm not tired. Okay. There is one companion of yours, one, one partner in this. Yes, that's why right, Sitting over there. Mr. Bhatt? Yes, sir. Yes. So, uh, Nazisa Darsa, please. What is that? Hazur in uh, United King in the United Kingdom here, the parents and the children are faced with a dilemma in that how to bring up our children. What I got in mind is to give a short analysis of the situation. Our children go to school at 10 a.m. and come back at 3 p.m. And uh, the situation in schools is such, such a bad one that there is no discipline of any kind. There is no? No discipline. discipline. Yes, sir. Uh, caning has been prohibited by International Court of Justice at the head in our schools. Here. Also, it was prohibited in Kadyan. Ji? Also, it was prohibited in Kadyan much before before the International Court of Justice passed any rulings on that. I used to have some. <laughs> uh, but those were the masters who were, should have been caned for this. Those teachers yeah. who caned you should have been gained themselves for this indiscipline. <laughs> because I know once a commission was appointed by Hazrat Muslim Maud against those masters who had gained certain students because the rules of the Southern Angeman laid it down very clearly that no bodily punishment would be meted out to students by the masters, teachers. Although I know myself to experience <laughs> that they violated this this law, this rule. <laughs> Come on, and, sir. So and and uh, uh, the other thing, even even the teachers themselves are dressed in a most objectionable manner. And uh, the children come back at three o'clock. And the very next thing which they normally go for is TV for children. So it's sometimes almost impossible to stop them on not having a TV at home. I know, I know about London Jamaat that many parents, they have tutors who come and teach their children Holy Quran and some parents, 
They do give lessons to their children when they go for dinner. <laughs>